This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on using HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I want to illustrate HDR color spaces. There are four color spaces that we deal with on a regular basis, Rec. 601, 709, 2020, and 2100. Rec. 601 is the color space for standard definition media. That's both NTSC and PAL. Rec. 709 is the color space definition for HD media. It's very similar to Rec. 601, that's the SD color space. And 709 and sRGB color spaces are, by definition, the same. Rec. 2020 expands into wide gamut color space. Wide gamut means more saturation. It's part of the Rec. 2100 spec. Rec. 2020 is similar to Display P3, which is the current state-of-the-art in HDR in Mac monitors. And then there's Rec. 2100. Rec. 2100 is the general standard for HDR, and the three most popular distribution standards within it are Dolby Vision, HDR10, and Hybrid Log Gamma, which is called HLG. The color area in the image on the left represents all the colors the eye can see. The triangle in the center represents the colors that can be represented in Rec. 709 or the sRGB color space. As we expand beyond Rec. 709 to try to include more of the colors that the eye can see, we open up a couple more color spaces that the image on the right shows. The inner rectangle is Rec. 709. The outer rectangle is the full spec of Rec. 2020. The one in the middle, between Rec. 709 and Rec. 2020, is where we are today. It's Display P3. Gives us more reds and more greens and just a few more blues. But it's not quite half the way toward where we're going with Rec. 2020. And keep in mind, this just defines color. Grayscale, which runs perpendicular to your monitor, layers a whole other layer of complexity on top of this. And we'll talk more about that in just a minute. There's one more definition I should mention, and that's tone mapping. Tone mapping converts HDR media to display on a computer monitor, and tone mapping also converts HDR to SDR. Because HDR has got a whole lot more grayscale, we've got to map those grayscales to fit within an SDR grayscale space. One caution. It is well known that motion in high dynamic range media will reveal frame rate shutter when you shoot at 24 frames a second. So when you're shooting HDR, use higher frame rates. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on using HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 280. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.